Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Tournament Challenge. If you take this video seriously as a serious bracket, just don't. I'm putting this disclaimer out before I actually do the bracket. If you take this as a serious bracket, then I feel sorry for you because it's not a serious bracket. This is just going to be a bracket of moving on my favorite teams, and we'll see what kind of wacky bracket we get by moving on teams that I like. So we'll start out, we're moving on Kansas over Austin P. UConn over Colorado, Maryland over South Dakota State, Hawaii over Cal. This first round won't be too bad. Um, I like Vanderbilt more than Arizona, but I like Arizona more than Wichita State. So that, this is confusing. Let's we'll move Arizona. Move Miami. Move in Temple and Villanova. So we got Kansas, UConn, Maryland, Hawaii, Arizona, Miami, and Temple, Villanova. Uh, before I continue, I'm going to do a little bit more research tonight. Um, I have kind of an open class tonight where we're not doing anything because I already have my, kind of got my assignments already done. So I'm going to do a little research, think about some teams. I, I looked up a little stats on Northern Iowa and Hawaii last night just to get a little bit of a thing in my mind. And I'm, I'm liking how Hawaii looks as well as Northern Iowa. Uh, but I'll get into that into probably my last bracket. My last bracket's going to be decently long, so uh, uh, be ready for that. It'll be probably Thursday. I'll get you ready for the tournament, give you my final thoughts. And then I might do a recap video after each day or each uh, each round or something like that. Just give you guys my thoughts and the upsets and stuff like that. Maybe stuff you might have missed. I'm going to have four monitors all set up. I'll have my TV. Um, I have two uh, Asus laptops. Uh, ready to go, as well as my Mac. Uh, but if if push comes to shove, my the desktop we have here at my house is uh, is a little bit bigger, so I might end up using that as one of the monitors. But we'll see. Um, I like Kansas and UConn, but we're gonna move UConn on. I like Maryland a little bit more in Hawaii. I like Miami over Arizona, and I like Villanova more than I like Temple. So. Sets up the first little interesting matchup of UConn, Maryland, and Miami, Villanova. So we're going to have UConn playing Villanova in the Elite Eight. So a semi-interesting matchup there. So we've got North Carolina winning. We've got Providence beating USC, Indiana, and Kentucky because I really don't have any... Like, I'm not really a fan of Stony Brook or Chattanooga. I'm not a huge fan of Indiana or Kentucky, but... I don't know. If you guys know my channel, I don't really like Notre Dame. Probably my least favorite. I, it's just because I live here, and I have to deal... I live pretty close to Notre Dame, and... National Notre Dame fans are a lot better. Like, um, C.R. Buke's cool Notre Dame fan. There are cool Notre Dame fans, but just where I live, just around Notre Dame, the fans are horrible. <laughs> they're, like, they're just horrible. They're, like... Once you go out... Like, I know some, uh... I know a lot of Notre Dame fans that uh, don't live in the northern Indiana, southern Michigan, Ohio, kind of in this area where uh, you know Notre Dame is. They're not as they're they're not as like Notre Dame fans are so egregiously biased around here, and like the local news only talks about Notre Dame. They only talk about like Indiana or anything. It's it's just you know when you grow up, you you'd have to grow up here to know what I'm talking about, because you either like them or you hate them in this area because people are so ridiculous about them. But that's enough of that rant. I do like Stephen F. Austin, but I like West Virginia more. Um, but that, that, that Notre Dame thing, I, I don't want to offend Notre Dame fans because there are plenty, of, There's a, I have a bunch of friends who are Notre Dame fans. It's not like I hate every fiber of every Notre Dame fan. It's just some of them have caused me to not like Notre Dame. Okay, I'm going to move on from this. Okay. Pitt and Xavier uh, in that one. So we set up UNC, Providence, Indiana, Kentucky, uh, Michigan, West Virginia, and Pitt, Xavier. So we're going to move on North Carolina. I do like Providence, but I like North Carolina a little bit more. And I like Kentucky a bit more than Indiana. Uh, Indiana's down there with uh, with Notre Dame. Um also with Notre Dame, my grandpa was a huge Notre Dame fan, and he just, like, crammed it down your throat from, like, day one. You know, I was a little kid, I remember. He was, like, trying to cram Notre Dame down my throat. Uh, so that that didn't help with me liking Notre Dame. But we're going to move Michigan over West Virginia. Xavier over Pitt, setting up North Carolina, Kentucky, 
and Michigan Xavier. So we're moving Michigan on to the Elite Eight to face off against North Carolina. I uh, like North Carolina a bit more in Kentucky. Uh, one of my good friends is a, is a North Carolina fan, so we watch a, I watch a decent chunk of games with him. So I tend to like North Carolina. I've started to like North Carolina a little bit more. Uh, so we've got Virginia. I like Texas. I like both Texas Tech and Butler. Um, I actually have a friend that goes to Butler, but um, I, I, I like Tubby Smith and I like Texas Tech. Uh, so we're going to roll with them. Well, I like Purdue and Iowa State. Um I, I started to like Purdue a little bit more um, as I've gotten older. I did do enjoy watching them a little bit more. Uh, but then we got Seton Hall and Utah, along with Syraco, Sy Syracuse, Syracuse and Middle Tennessee State. Don't ask me why. I think it's just from when I was a younger, like, a younger kid. I'm 20 now, so like 8, maybe 10 years ago playing NCAA football. Middle Tennessee was that team. You know, when you, you know, with NCAA, you always pick, like, a weird team and you play a dynasty with them, I guess. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just weird, but that, that's what I did. And Middle Tennessee State was always my team, so I actually really do like uh, Middle Tennessee State. They'll probably actually make it pretty far in this bracket because they, they actually, actually, the stupid thing is, I think they're actually going to make it to the Final Four because there isn't anyone in this bracket that I love. <laughs> That's the that's the issue with this bracket. Uh, so we have Virginia, Texas Tech. We're taking Texas Tech. And I'm not really a fan of Virginia. Uh, and then Iowa State, Purdue. We're going to take Iowa State. Not a giant fan of either of these teams, but I do like Iowa State a little bit more than Purdue. Like Seton Hall over Utah. And Middle Tennessee State is going to advance to the second weekend of the tournament. Hey, it's happened before. Seven before Florida Gulf Coast beat Georgetown, and then I forget who they beat, but then they lost to Florida. That is that three years ago now. That feels like so long ago. Three years feels like forever ago. But that sets up Texas Tech, Iowa State, Seton Hall, Middle Tennessee. I really don't have any opinion on. I just like Middle Tennessee State. I'm just always like you know how on ESPN you have those teams that you. Have you follow so that they can send you score updates. Middle Tennessee State is actually a team that I follow in football and basketball for whatever reason. So we have Middle Tennessee State making it to the Elite Eight to play. Uh, we'll go with Texas Tech. We'll go with Tubby Smith and Texas Tech. And then it's Middle Tennessee State. I, I shouldn't have selected that, but it's going to be Middle Tennessee State to the, to the Final Four because why the heck not? And uh, it actually fits. So we are going to go with... Oregon in this bracket facing off against I like St. Joe's and Cincinnati about equally, uh, but we'll just go with it. we'll roll with St. Joe's. Uh, I do like Baylor and I do like Duke, so th they'll get to move on. Uh, I like Texas. I really don't really like either Texas A&M. You know what? We'll roll with my upset, my big upset. This is the upset that I want that I'm that I'm seeing. But Oregon State and Oklahoma will move on. Setting up matchups between Oregon St. Joe's. Baylor Duke, Texas Green Bay, and Oregon State Oklahoma. There are about 10 schools, 10, 15 schools that could have been, that are in the tournament, I guess I should say that, that are in the tournament that I would have, if, if any of them would have been in the bracket with Middle Tennessee State, Middle Tennessee State would not be in the Final Four, but Middle Tennessee State is my favorite team in that bracket, so I have to move them uh, because I got to stay true. So Oregon's beating St. Joe's. Uh, we'll have Duke beaten Baylor. I do like Duke a little bit more than Baylor. Um, I like Texas, um, and then I like Oklahoma. Um, I only like Oklahoma in basketball. I don't really f like them in football. Um, I like uh, like I don't I, I'm not a huge fan of Bob Stoops, so I don't know. Uh, my football teams and basketball teams are a little bit different. Like I like Missouri basketball, but I don't like their football. Um, but I, I guess it's not really who I like. It's I, I follow certain teams a lot more than others. Um, obviously, you tend to start liking them if you follow them. Uh, but then we've got Oklahoma and Oregon. And this year, I like Oklahoma basketball more than Oregon. But I, I, I like Oregon as a team. Like, I, I, like I've followed Oregon for much longer than I followed Oklahoma. Uh, so then we have... We have Villanova, Oregon, and we have oops, we have Michigan, Middle Tennessee State. <laughs> this is the wackiest Final Four. We got an 11 and a 15 seed on one side. We actually have a viable option on the other side with Villanova and Oregon, but that that the right side is just horrendous. We had too many teams that I like in the in the left side of the bracket. 
like UConn could have been down where Middle Tennessee State was. That would have been nice. They would have that would have set it up. Or Texas over there. There there were a lot of options, but Villanova moving to the moving to the national championship to face to face the Michigan. If Tulsa wins, this would be this would be a hilarious bracket. If Tulsa beats Michigan, I think that's tomorrow night. That would be that'd be hilarious. But you know, I like Villanova. Villanova is my favorite uh, college basketball team. Uh, if you guys didn't know. Uh, they're the, I, I didn't miss a single game this year. I was surprised because I had night classes, so I expected I would miss a few, but I actually was able to catch them all. Um, but since we already took Villanova for a bracket, we will take Michigan to win the national championship uh, just because um, I already took Villanova to win the national championship in a bracket. So we'll, we'll be a little different and take Michigan over Tulsa in this bracket. Once again, guys, remember this is not a serious bracket. Uh, this is just uh, a fun, a fun little bracket that I'm doing. Um, I think I did, I did it in years past, and in the what was it two was it two years ago UConn yeah it was two years ago UConn won it. I had a bracket with UConn <laughs> with UConn in the net with UConn winning it all. Uh, so that was pretty funny. Um, but this was just a fun bracket. I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, just having a little bit of fun with the bracket. Uh, that's what, that's what I, uh, prefer to do is just enjoy it, have fun, um, take a serious, have a few serious brackets, but have some fun, mess around, pick some crazy upsets, you got 13 brackets on ESPN, have some fun with three to six of them, and make seven serious ones, um, and, uh, that's gonna do it for this video, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the, uh, in the next bracket breakdown, peace out, er, not really breakdown, the next bracket video, so peace out, guys.